Good. All right. So I'll call the uh, Tuesday, September 15th, 2020 meeting of the Weathersfield Planning and Zoning Commission to order. Um, Joe, could you please call the roll? Yes. Um, actually, let me get the roll right here. Uh, Rich Roberts. Here. Rich. Here. Uh, Ryan Aller. Here. here. Joe Hammer here. Uh, Jim Hughes. Yes. George Oikel. Tom Dean. Here. Yes. Dave Edwards. Here. Michael Vieira. I think I saw him on the screen. Yep. He just. Yep. David Drake. Here. Yolanda Antoniak. And Tony Homicki. All right. Thank you. I think that's eight. So everybody will participate um, for the time being. First item is public hearing application 2050-20Z. Mark Catania seeking a special permit in accordance with section 3.6, accessory buildings and structures of the Weathersfield zoning regulations to install a garage larger than permitted in a residential zone at 99 Pondside Drive. Uh, the first two items that we're going to be hearing tonight are public public hearings. Uh, I don't know whether members of the public are going to be, whether they're here or whether they want to participate, but basically how we'll handle them is that the applicant will make a presentation. Uh, the commission can ask questions. At that point, we open it up to members of the public that may have uh, questions or comments about the application. Uh, depending on whether there are substantive issues for the uh, applicant or the commission to consider after that, uh, we may have additional discussion. Assuming all of the questions get answered, uh, we may close the public hearing and take action. If there are open questions that we don't have answers for or need additional information, we may continue the hearing. Uh, but in either case, it'll all be done you know, here in front of everybody where you can see what's going on. Um, so with that, is the, the applicant is here. Could you just please identify yourself by uh, name and address for the record and tell us what it is that you're applying for? Sure. Uh, my name is Mark Catanian, 99 Pondside Drive, Weathersfield. Um, I just have a very brief synopsis of what we're going to try to do. Um, name's Mark Catania. My wife, Trish, and I have lived in Weathersfield for over 20 years, the last 17 at our current home on 99 Pondside. Currently are both municipal workers. Trish works for the town of Manchester. I work for the town of Glastonbury. Our immediate neighbors to the north, Patty Raymond to the northeast, Lombardi's, the Franzos to the east and the Bremens to our immediate west are all aware of our proposed garage project and have voiced uh, no objections to it. We've um, been in contact with all of them since applying for the permit and they're all very supportive of the idea. Um, the proposed garage will be the same color of the house as our house uh, with the same color shutters and window trim. Um, the garage will have two eight foot garage doors on it, one service entry door on the south side, and there'll be four windows on the garage, two on each side. Um, the proposed garage will be 30 feet from the rear neighbor's property line, uh, the rear neighbor's 175 Fox Hill Road, the Bremens. Um, it will be 15 feet from the neighbor to the north, Patty Raymond, 91 Pond Side. Um, garage will be a uh, hundred feet from the roadway at Pondside, 170 feet from Fox Hill Road, which runs east and west. Um, there'll be no plumbing in the garage. There will be uh, some exterior lighting and some interior lighting in the garage. None of the lighting in the garage will encroach onto the neighbor's property. All the lighting will be shielded. Um, I have a current structure on the property that's uh, a 12 by 28 
shed out in the back that I've sold and that's contingent upon this being approved tonight. Uh, it's been sold to a party in Trumbull. And if this gets approved tonight, it'll be picked up well in advance of the new structure being put on the property. Um, the proposed structure is 24 by 24, 576 square feet. And it'll be put on a crushed stone pad, which I'll eventually tie in with six by six uh, landscape ties. Um, main purpose of it is to house two vehicles. One is a vintage Shelby convertible Mustang and the other one is my pickup truck. The other purpose is to house yard equipment, lawn furniture, and in the winter months, miscellaneous yard decorations and supplies. As the letter stated to the commission, the other purpose is to allow me to put a take home vehicle that I have in the existing garage that I have right now that my wife also utilizes. Um, it'll get the take home uh, vehicle out of public view in my garage, or I, I'm sorry, in the driveway now. Um, just one, one last thing, the, the flooring on the proposed structure is uh, rated for 2,000 pounds for over a 20 square inch uh, area. So it's more than stable to hold what I want to put in there. The flooring is also um, contained, has a containment of um, fire retardant material. And um, like I said earlier, I'm not looking to run a business out of it. I'm not looking to have any type of plumbing in there. Um, I will have lights on it because that side of my property is extremely dark at night. And um, it's basically just to get the cars out of the driveway and for me to have a place to put the Mustang rather than having it in storage during the, the winter months. Uh, I've talked to all the neighbors that, you know, no one has said anything to me um, in opposition. The sign has been out probably for over a month. Um, I was more worried about the sign being stolen than having anybody oppose it, but other than that, um, that's that's really it. Okay. Does, All right. Uh, I, I'm on, I'm online here. Um, I am Mark Catania's next door neighbor. I'm Patty Raymond at 91 Pondside. Uh, I fully support the venture. Uh, they're respectful, courteous neighbors, and this needs to be done for them. I am fully supporting this. So if that helps in your decision, uh, I, I hope it does. Uh, they deserve it. They're excellent neighbors. They take care of all of us on Pond side. All right, I'm going to back off there. All right. Thanks very much. Um, taking a step back, uh, does anyone on the commission have any questions for the applicants or for Peter? It's the only question I had is that, you know, I've seen where, where your vehicle is parked now on the crushed stone next to your garage. Um, is that kind of the same general location where you plan to have the driveway going back to this garage or is it going to be further down on the other side of that tree or, or what did you have in mind for, for access? I'm glad you asked because I forgot to talk about the tree. The tree, if this is approved tonight, is being taken down by a company out of Glastonbury. Um, the structure is not going to be where the crushed stone is. I didn't think aesthetically that would uh, look presentable for the neighborhood. The structure would be uh, approximately, um, like I said earlier, it's 100 feet from the pond side curb line. So it would be tucked in a little bit forward of the existing structure, but not even with the line of the property or line of the house rather. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I wasn't clear. I mean, I know you have the crushed stone next to the garage now where you're parking is you need a hundred foot driveway to get from pond side to, to where you're putting this now. Is it going to be in that location or is it going to be, further to the right of the garage where the tree is now, or, or what did you have in mind for that? If you picture where the tree is now, sir, it's going to be directly behind that tree. 
right um, on the side on the side of the house yeah I, I, I picture where the garage is I was just asking about the driving of the vehicles from the road or your existing driveway to that you know what what kind of driveway if any are you going to put down through the yard and where is it going to go come springtime i'm looking to put a um almost like a pea stone type of gravel that's going to take the place of what's there now and it's going to branch onto the existing driveway okay all right does anyone else on the commission have any questions I, I have one question. This is David Drake. Other than uh, costing money, is there any reason you didn't put poor concrete under it or you don't want to make it that permanent? The answer to the question is it, it would have cost me another 15 grand and uh, I don't have that type of money. No, that's, that's a good answer. I just got kind of curious. <laughs> I mean, if, yeah. if, I, if, I, if I had the money, I mean, if you have 15 grand extra and you want to loan it to me, <laughs> I'll be more than happy to put no, it. I'm with you. It's just that's a pretty substantial, good, nice looking garage. And I'm just curious. Thanks. You know, I, I'm thanks. with you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Anybody else? I'm good. <laughs> Do you have to do any um, utility coordination with uh, the lines that you have going to your house? For the install, sir? Yeah. No, they'll be able to go right under those lines and bring the structure in. It's gonna come in two pieces. The, the sides come one day and the roof comes the next. Oh, okay. Great. Anyone else? If not, is there anyone else in the public that would like to comment on this application? I don't know, Peter, can you see phone numbers or yes, uh, Teddy, I think, is uh, one of the neighbors. He's he's with us tonight, so. Yes, yeah, I'm right next door. Yep, yeah, I fully support it. Uh, he, they deserve it. Um, they're just excellent, just good people, excellent neighbors. And like I said, the, the three words is a trifecta for me, courteous, respectful, and they always take care of whoever's in trouble in the neighborhood. Um, but th they deserve it. I'm right next to them, and uh, I'm all for it. Okay. And I've been, I've been on this property for 28 years, and right. I've known them for many years. They deserve it. They need to get this. Okay, thanks. And just so that we're clear for the, for the record for both times, could you please give us your name and address again? Are you talking to me, sir? Yes. Yep. Uh, it's actually full name, Patricia K. Raymond, 91 Pond Side Drive, Weathersfield, Connecticut. Okay. And I'm Thank right you. next to it. Yep. You're welcome. You're welcome, sir. Okay. All right. Is there someone else? Yes. Hey, this is uh, Teddy Panaiti Shore on 83 Pond Side Drive. This is two houses down from uh, Mark. And both my wife and I, Jackie Pantashore, fully support the, the decision to put a structure in the backyard. Uh, Mark and Patricia are fantastic neighbors, so they, they definitely deserve it. And as Patty Raymond said earlier, uh, they need to be get done. So we, we support it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. Is there anyone else from the public that wants to comment on this application? Anybody else? If not, um, open it one back, take it back one more time. Does anybody in the commission have any questions? All right. Motion to close. All right. Uh, Jim Hughes made a motion to close the public hearing. Is there a second? Second. Second from Ryan Allard. All in favor say aye. 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 Ambush these two Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies in their patrol car. This is the Abstain. newer video that we're seeing now. Okay. Um, would someone like to make a motion then? Sure, I'll, I'll make a motion to approve. Um, Peter, are there any conditions that we need to have? Uh, I think uh, the uh, applicant has testified that the existing structure will be removed um, as part of this process. So I, I don't see the need to put that as a condition. Okay. I'll second Joe's motion. 
Okay, Joe made the motion. Jim Hughes seconded it. Uh, any additional discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? All right, motion carries. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Next, next item. 3.2, public hearing application 2051-20Z, Joe LaGuardia, Jr. seeking a special permit in accordance with section 5.2, permitted principal uses of the Weathersfield zoning regulations for a change of use from retail to office use, physical therapy at 709-725 Silas Dean Highway. Is the applicant here? Yes, I am. <clears throat> okay. Could you just uh, quickly give us your name and address for the record and tell us what the uh, what the proposal is? Yes, sir. Um, it is Joe LaGuardia, Jr. Um, I work for RVA Architects in cooperation with Select Medical, 680 American Ave, Suite 200, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, 19406. We are looking to install and have an outpatient physical therapy unit in the current location of a design center. Uh, previously, there were three uh, approvals uh, given to me of a medical marijuana facility and a few other adjoining ones that would fit that need with the outpatient therapy. It is simply an outpatient. There is no uh, drugs. There is no pharmaceuticals involved. It is simply rehabilitation. In addition, I have my colleague, Scott Mikulich, who is the Director of Real Estate Services for Select Medical, here as well with me. Okay. The plan is shown is simply to install two restrooms, an exam room, uh, a laundry break room, and uh, a gym, which will house the physical therapy equipment in which patients will come in, uh, get their treatment, and then be released same day. Okay. Have you, um, did you have a chance to review the memo dated September 11th to the commission from Peter Gillespie? I did. And a couple of uh, suggestions or comments? Agreed. And number one, which is provide additional details for exterior signage. In doing so, we will provide the city, uh, state of Wethersfield and Connecticut, those appropriate signage details with heights, installation details, and showing exactly how it will be installed. In addition, it will be installed below the scupper, which is on the exterior of the brick facade, so there will be no interference with the sign and drainage from the roof. Also, number two, uh, there was a, an idea of possibly adding a handicap designated space based on the number of individuals in that facility. We will also look at that as a recommendation and if we deem necessary, we'll then go to the approved measures to make sure that that's occurred. Okay. I was gonna ask also um, to piggyback on the handicap spot, if there were any other ADA requirements that, um, because it seems like we'd, we'd be increasing the need for potential ADA requirements in the area that hasn't been addressed, like with the previous businesses that, are, that were in the area. So I would add just like an overall ADA um sort of review instead of just like having one extra parking space just making sure that the handicap ramp is close enough to the door if there are any rules regarding that. okay yeah we would be we would be open to that that situation and in the facility uh for making sure accessibility is the reception desk that is there will have the forward approach and all the necessary requirements for a handicapped individual to make sure that they're accessible in the space Okay. And in addition, we maintained the back door. So we have a second means of egress. What we have done is closed off the side door into the alleyway. But on the plans, we've shown that we will basically build that up, make sure that the same uh, aesthetics of that building are matched. So you will never see that we, we harm the, the exterior and aesthetics of the building. Okay. And to note that we did post the sign outside on the lawn as well as in the building. And we did send uh, the mail-in um, addresses to all those folks that are in that facility near 
that area, the 300 yards, to make sure that they're aware of what that uh, our new uh, building would be. Okay, thank you. Does anyone else on the commission have any questions? I'll let that sink in. Um, are there any members of the public that uh, want to comment on this application? Not. Um, one last time, are there any additional um, questions or comments from the commission members? Um, Dave. I just wanted to see if I was muted or unmuted. Um, from what I saw the plans, there was the existing HVAC will be the only uh, HVAC used in this project, correct? That is a correct statement. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Anybody else? If not, is there a motion to close the public hearing? Make a motion to close. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All right. Motion by Jim Hughes, second by Tom Dean to close the public hearing. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? All right. Would someone like to make a motion on the application? Making a motion to approve application 2051-20Z uh, with accordance to the town comments for addressing it. Uh, so the one stipulation was the ADA and handicap accessibility review. Um, and I'm sorry, I was looking, I was searching through for the other items. but uh, Design review for the signs. Design review for the exterior signs and ex exterior on the building signs and the exterior at the uh, at the snow shelf sign. Was it? Were those the only two? Yeah, that was it. Yep. All right. Does anyone else have any um, conditions? Or stipulations? That. Jim, second. Okay. Did anyone have any additional comments or stipulations? Uh, just uh, 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 maybe a comment or an additional stipulation, uh, because there there was some discussion about uh, uh, a continued follow through uh, of um, uh, of review to um, assure that the entire space uh, that's being proposed uh, would be uh, handicapped accessible. Uh, I I would. Uh, uh, like to see an additional condition being made that uh, the uh, that the applicant will um, uh, will comply with all applicable uh, handicapped life safety building code and other uh, applicable regulations uh, regarding the space. Agreed. And we will make sure it's to accessibility and to code if there are any other uh, stipulations that you require. Uh, Ryan and Jim, is that additional stipulation acceptable? I'm good. Sounds good to me. Okay. All right, anything else? Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you gentlemen. Appreciate it. Love. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, next item, application 2052-20Z, Borghese Building and Engineering, seeking the site plan and design review in accordance with section 5.2, permitted uses of the Weathersfield zoning regulations for a change that is not significant to operate a coffee shop, the donut station at 486 Silas Bean Highway. Is there someone here on behalf of the applicant? Yes, if you can see me okay. I heard I was a little blurry, but my name is Alan Borghese, Borghese Building and Engineering. I'm an engineer. With me, if you can see her, is Bonnie Ponte. She is a partner in the uh, the uh, people that, own, that are buying the building and will be operating the uh, restaurant. She has another restaurant in Torrington that's very successful. has been in the business for a number of years. Uh, it's very interesting because we came upon this building 
That was a Tim Hortons building. Um, and then it comes. Somebody seems to have the radio on or something. According to the Census Bureau, it is steep. And, and Alan, we can't see you at all. All it says is Alan. You can't see me? No. No. It went away. Oh, boy. Um, well, can we just live with voice? We can hear yeah, it just I, fine. Yeah, yeah we're good. I didn't want you holding things up to the camera and thinking that we were going to be Anyway, um, and this was a Tim Hortons building. Uh, it then became a, uh, a Farmington Bank. And we went out there and looked at it, and it's quite a gorgeous building. We're very pleased with it. It was kind of an interesting thing because when Farmington Bank came in, they put the canopy over the drive-in window, and uh, we decided that what we'd do is leave the canopy in place and put a planter island to direct the traffic on the north side of the building around the building, and there was uh, enough maneuvering room for all kinds of vehicles that we might encounter. And the rest of it, uh, we made a couple of notes uh, of things that we observed in the field, like repairing a, 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 a concrete curb that was deteriorating and uh, also patching uh, a catch basin top that was deteriorating. Other than that, uh, really the, the entire facility is in AAA shape. Uh, we're pleased to say that. And of course, we're going to make interior renovations to, uh, to make the building match what we intend to do. This, this building, other than Tom Hortons, and Tom sold more than just coffee and donuts, uh, and we are basically uh, going to be uh, operating a, uh, a, uh, a coffee and donut place uh, in this building, specifically limited to that. Uh, Con, Donna, you want to make any comments? Um, the menu pretty much is just the coffee, the donuts. We do breakfast sandwiches, um, drinks. We don't do any formal dinner, lunch, or anything like that. Anyway, we'd be very happy to answer any questions. Okay. Um, does anyone want to start with questions? I have one question. Was the Tim Hortons, was there a active drive through then, or was it modified for the bank to have that? No, there was an active drive through at that point. Yes. Okay. Do you know what kind of um, vehicle queuing capacity you have on the site for the drive through? I actually laid that out um, in uh, literally everything but a uh, something in the range of a 60 foot uh, trailer truck could make those corners with, without any uh, problems at all. Um, I was especially concerned about me putting my island at the, at the drive in window. But it worked out well. There's plenty of turning capacity. Uh, so it, it, I'm going to say you, we, we, literally every vehicle except a major size vehicle could pass through there. Rich, it can accommodate about eight or nine vehicles. Yeah, I mean, that, that was more the nature of my question was the, the volume of queuing rather than, you know, the ability to drive a fire truck through it or something. Yeah, on our drawing, on our site plan, we actually indicate nine stacking spaces, but in reality, there could be up to 11 or 12 without uh, blocking the entranceway. Okay. Well, having having driven down the Silostine and watching the uh, Dunkin' Donuts all backing out onto the highway, I would, I would err on the side of having more capacity than, uh, <laughs> than less at, at this point. Um, one other question I had is, is the dumpster facilities adequate you know, now that you're going back to a food use as opposed to a, you know, a bank use, do you have to have an additional one for, uh, you know, for cardboard and food and, you know, things like that, or, or is what's there now sufficient? This, this question is, what, is one dumpster is sufficient? One sufficient? You feel it is sufficient? Yes. Um, we, we feel that the one dumpster is sufficient. It's kind of interesting because Back when it was a Tim Hortons that had one dumpster, to the best of my knowledge, according to the blueprint that was handed to me, but we feel that's sufficient. Thank you, though. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it was sufficient because nobody went there, and that's why they closed. But uh, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> primarily catered to middle school students. <laughs> uh, Bonnie Ponte commented that at her present facility. Uh, that's exactly the same size as kind of interesting. 
she has one dumpster and it works very well. Okay. Have you had a chance to review uh, the memo dated September 11th from Peter Gillespie to the commission? There are um, a handful of their four comments at the end. Uh, have you had a chance to look at that? Yes, we have. And actually, they pretty re well reiterates what I have said in my presentation. And uh, the only thing we have to do is provide you details for the signage and the menu board, uh, which we will do uh, as soon as those items are available. Okay. Does anyone else on the commission have any questions? Not a public hearing, um, so we don't need to close the hearing. Does anyone have anything? If not, is there a motion on the application? Favorable. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I have no questions. Okay. Um, question, will the don'ts be made on the premises? So will there be, you know, ovens and the machinery for to manufacture the donuts there? Uh, we don't fry anything. We use a full-size convection oven. Okay. You answered the question. <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what, what you were using to um, cook the donuts. It's a. They come in frozen and then they're baked in a full size convection oven. Yeah. So the convection oven you, removes the fumes uh, I was worrying about. Any other questions from the commission? If not, would someone like to make a motion? Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll make the motion. Okay. Uh, I move to approve uh, application number 2052-20-Z, site plan review for the Borghese Veiling in engineering. Uh, subject to the uh, four comments uh, and make them as requirements, uh, pursuant to the uh, memorandum from the uh, 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 town, uh, town Planner Economic Development Manager, Peter D. Gillespie, dated September 11th, 2020. All right, thank you. Uh, Tom Dean made the motion. Is there a second? Second. Three. All right, uh, Mike Vieira seconded the motion. Is there any additional discussion? not all in favor say aye. 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 aye 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 opposed abstentions congratulations we thank you very much for your time and efforts Appreciate thank it. you very much thank you oh, thank you for your willingness you. to invest in the community and wish you all the success well thank you so yes, much good luck all right, other business, there is nothing listed. Next item is minutes of the September 1st, 2020 meeting. Uh, did anyone have any comments on those? If not, would someone like to make a motion to approve them? Sure, I move to approve. All right, motion Second. by Joe, second by Ryan. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? I abstain. Okay, Mr. Hughes abstains. Uh, staff reports. Just a, a couple of things. Um, we uh, held the ribbon cutting uh, last week for the Borden uh, project. Um, pleased to report that uh, the leasing um, of the units has far ex exceeded the developer's uh, dreams. Uh, at this point between the two buildings, I believe he's 80% uh, occupied. Um, so uh, great, um, great progress and great success. He's also um, uh, leased the first commercial space to a tenant. Uh, uh, Keeler Williams Real Estate is going to take um, one of the um, uh, commercial spaces. So we're working with them on their signage plan right now. So um, it was a well-attended 
ribbon cutting and um, very happy to report uh, the occupancy. Additionally, the 170 Ridge Road apartment uh, project is also uh, getting close to a certificate of occupancy. I think they're trying to get occupancy by the first of next month. Um, I don't have any um, numbers on that one, but um, we are going to be scheduling a ribbon cutting probably later uh, this month. They've still got a few things to do, but they've made great, great progress up there as well. Um, we've had a couple of serious conversations with a, an interested group in the Masonic building on Main Street and also on um, 1000 Silas Dean Highway, the former uh, Weight Watchers. Uh, so um, folks, e even given the economy, are still looking to do, do business here in town. Uh, also putting the finishing touches on the proposed self-storage regulations. So that should be um, probably scheduled for a hearing. Um, maybe the first meeting in November at this point. So we'll keep you in the loop on that. So those are a couple of the highlights to report. Great, thanks very much. Does anybody have any questions for Peter? All right, uh, next public comments. Are there any members of the public here who wish to comment? Mm -hmm. Okay. No correspondence. What do we have for the uh, upcoming additional items? So we have uh, at your on your next agenda the proposed uh, resubdivision of uh, property at 411 Hartford Avenue. That's the uh, Weathersfield Arts Academy. They are um, proposing to um, divide the uh, academy off from the residential property. Uh, we're waiting for some revised plans from the applicant on that. And then we have an application. Um, this is um, the Mr. Sparkle um, car wash. They want to demolish a part of the uh, car wash facility and put an oil change uh, building uh, in its place. So that will be on your next agenda, which is, I believe, um, October 6th is the next meeting. Okay. Is there anything new to report on the uh, the MDC work? Um, you know, has that kind of started going the way it should be going, or are there additional? Yeah. They've they've made progress, but you may have noticed a lot of the trucks and material are now stored within the public right of way. Um, so they had to work closely with MDC, the police department, and the engineering department to find, you know, safe and secure locations for the that equipment, but um, it seems to be, it seems to be working. Uh, both of those roads have either one or the other is at this point closed almost every day in order to accommodate the work. Um, but uh, they are uh, progressing um, project along. I think they're pretty much on schedule. Right. Additionally, the only I'm other question, I, I don't know whether there's anything new is have we reached any kind of a terminal point on the, the doggy daycare and the sound issues there, um, or is that still going on? Uh, it's still going on. We have um, asked them, even though they're not at full occupancy, we have asked them to uh, schedule the post um, construction sound test that we required them um, to do. They kept, uh, they wanted to hold it off until they had full uh, occupancy of all the dogs that they uh, would anticipate being the worst case scenario, but we are still getting complaints. So I, I requested that they perform the sound study, uh, give that sound study to us so that we can review it and see how effective the fence uh, construction actually is relative to the, the dog. Uh, so uh, I'm waiting to get a date for that um, report to be submitted to us. So um, I'm assuming that will happen shortly and potentially even at your next at your next meeting. There was a condition that we, uh, you as a commission, review that report to determine how effective the uh, proposed fencing was. So uh, we are still getting complaints. Uh, when was the original sound test done? Was that during the winter? I, I forget. No, it was done. 
in the fall, uh, I believe we, they did the work or they, they got a late start on the work in the winter. If you remember that, it was, we were trying to push it before the ground froze. Right. Um, so it might have been in November uh, okay. when, we, when we went through the permit process. I would um, just really push for the new sound test to be done at the exact same time of year because then it's just going to enter into the conversation as we progress. So. Yeah, we're getting close, actually. So, you know, um, in any event, um, yeah, so we've been pushing, um, pushing that. So hopefully there will be progress on that uh, in the next next few weeks. Okay, good. All right. Anybody else have anything they want to discuss? If not, uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So move, Mark. All right. Motion. Jim made the motion. Ryan seconded it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. That was efficient. Yeah. Well, good evening. <laughs> There's a knee jerk reaction. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.